everybody. This is Dr. Brett Talley, Daniel, MD, neurologist and headache doctor. And I'm doing a podcast today on the subject of the FTA and the Tripton SSRI, SNRI warning is wrong. Triptans are in 2020 still the best acute therapy drugs for migraine. Migraine is present in 25% of women and 6% of men. For women, migraine is the most common medical problem they have and more prevalent than hypertension, diabetes, heart trouble, or arthritis. Untreated with only over-the-counter drugs like supplements, NSAIDs such as Aleve or Advil, or drugs with caffeine such as Excedrin, migraine is a tremendous burden since it is disabling and one of the most frequent reasons for a visit to the emergency room. So the FTA and the Tripton SRI, SNRI warning is wrong. Triptans involve blocking the release of a specific neurochemical called 5-HT1D. The 5-HT receptor, which is active in the Tripton SSRI, SNRI relationship, is not a 1D receptor. Therefore, triptans do not set off the serotonin syndrome. And this is quite a story of revelation discovery. So SSRI refers to selective serotonin receptor inhibitor. SS, uh, SNRI is covered here also in a term that means selective serotonin or epinephrine receptor inhibitor. And both of these types of medication are indicated and used for treating depression, anxiety, and panic disorder. But they've been included in the FDA tryptin warning. So what does the official note from the FDA on tryptin says? The FDA states on the PI, that's a doctor term, pharmacological term, it means the product information sheet, which is found with all drugs published in America through the FDA, for all tryptins that there's a possible tryptin SSRI, SNRI conflict and the rare risk of development of a serotonin syndrome in patients who take these drugs. What have U.S. migraine experts said about using triptans and SRI, SSRI and SNRI drugs? In recent review, most physician migraine experts did not recommend that triptans and SSRIs or SNRIs be discontinued unless symptoms arise. So what is the serotonin syndrome? It's a neurochemical syndrome that comes related to serotonin, and it has symptoms of restlessness, hallucinations, loss of coordination, tachycardia, change in blood pressure, fever, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. The risk is estimated to be less than 0.03% of patients and life-threatening events are less than 0.002%. Well, who figured out the truth about using SSRI and SNRI drugs with migraine, triptans? Uh, Dr. Randy Evans, a headache specialist in Houston, was the man who investigated the problem and figured it out. Dr. Randy Evans found that the OT warning was wrong. Triptans block the release of 5 h T1D receptors, which are part of the migraine cycle, thus stopping the release of the inflammatory neurochemicals, neurokinin A, substance P, and CGRP, which cause the migraine headache. So migraine causes these neuroinflammatory chemicals to come out. If you take a tryptin early on, it blocks that. Dr. Evans obtained information about the tryptins utilizing the Freedom of Information Act and was able to find out that the 5-HT receptor active in the tryptin SSRI <clears throat> excuse me, SNRI relationship was not a 1D receptor. Because of this, there's little risk of tryptin setting off the serotonin syndrome when given conjointly with SSRIs or SNRIs. Dr. Evans and other writers wrote another article quest- which questioned whether patients who were on the basis of the FTA warning had serotonin syndrome. Okay, so has the FDA changed the report in the original tryptin PI? The FDA has never changed the original statement that there's a problem with the use of tryptans causing serotonin syndrome. Has the FDA FDA warning been a problem in the practice of migraine in America? Yes. Pharmacies fulfilling prescriptions for patients taking tryptans and SSRIs and SNRIs 
are required to notify the treating doctor as it's been done and millions of times across the United States. Uh, neurologists have been notified about this possible reaction and uh, by the pharmacist. So there's a lot of time and effort spent by doctors and pharmacists in a world full of too much time in medicine and pharmacy spent on busy work, and this is one of the ultimate busy work problems pharmacists and doctors have to come and deal with. This is a meaningless procedure. Many patients with migraine have cautiously put off by them, been put off of this FDA mistaken statement, and they've declined taking a tryptin, which is the best drug for acute migraine treatment. These people have suffered greatly. If a patient asks me about it, I refer them to the web paper article I have about that at Dr. Migraine, and I quote Dr. Evans' work published in Headache Journal by the American Headache Society. So next I'm going to discuss that journal. The FDA alert on serotonin syndrome with the use of tryptins combined with SSRIs and SNRIs. It's an American Headache Society position paper. It's published in the journal Headache 2010, uh, 50 pages 1, 089 to 99. Background. In 2006, a U.S. Food Administration FDA alert warned about the potential life-threatening risk of serotonin syndrome when tryptins are used in combination with SSRIs or SNRIs. This American Headache Society position patient position paper, sorry, further reviews the available evidence of the potential risk of combining tryptins with other serotonogenic agents. Using the Sternbach criteria for the Hunter, or the Hunter serotonin toxicity criteria, the 29 cases used as the basis for the FTA alert were assessed in addition for a more recently published review of 11 cases of serotonin syndrome resulting from monotherapy and one report of combination of serotonin agents. Evidence was evaluated according to the American Academy of Neurology Clinical Practice Guideline Process Manual results. Collectively, 40 case reports are available in the literature for subjects receiving either combination of mon or monotherapy for, uh, for serotonin agonists, all of which are limited to class four level of evidence. Of the 29 cases used as the basis for the FTA alert, 10 cases actually met the Sternbach criteria for diagnosing serotonin syndrome, but no cases fulfill the Hunter criterion for serotonin toxicity. One case published since the original report does not meet either criteria, and subsequently reported cases involving tryptin monotherapy include insufficient details to confirm a diagnosis of serotonin syndrome. Recommendations. With only class 4 evidence available in the literature and available through the FDA, registration of adverse events, inadequate data are available to determine the risk of serotonin syndrome with the addition of tryptin to SSRIs or SNRIs or with tryptin monotherapy. The currently available evidence does not support Limiting the use of tryptins with SRIs or SNRIs or the use of tryptin monotherapy due to concerns for serotonin syndrome. However, given the seriousness of serotonin syndrome, caution is certainly warranted, and clinicians should be vigilant to serotonin toxicity, symptoms, and signs to ensure prompt treatment. Healthcare providers should report potential cases to MedWatch and consider submitting them for publication. So that's the end of that article. So, this is my talk on the subject of the FDA and tryptin SSRI and SNRI warning, which is really wrong, as I've explained. God bless all you persons with migraine. Follow me on Podbean for um, other podcasts. I'm also on Spotify and uh, Amazon. Um, I'll see you guys on the next talk. Thanks for listening, and please check subscribe.